Hello. Welcome back to a spouse classroom. Today in class, we're going to be talking about the year 1992 and just some events that happened around the world. We'll be talking about popular culture, music, and then just kind of some of the main events that happened around the world in the year 1992. So I hope that you enjoy this video. And go ahead and get started. Right. So we're going to start talking kind of about the cost of living in 1992 and how it compares to today. So there was a 3% inflation rate at the end of the year 1992. Um, and the average interest rate to buy a home was around 6%, but the average cost of a new house was around um, 122000 The average income per year was around 30000 And then if you were renting a place, it was around $520. Um, so just some examples of some items that maybe you might go to the store and buy. Um, if you wanted a pound of bacon, it would have cost you a dollar ninety. If you wanted a new car, the average price was sixteen thousand, and then the average cost for a gallon of gas was a dollar and five cents. So, we're gonna, I'm going to talk a little bit about the United Kingdom now and their prices. So the average house price in the United Kingdom was around 68,000 um, pounds and a gallon of petrol was 213. And the yearly inflation rate in 1992 in the UK was 3.7%. Um, so yeah, now we're going to kind of talk now that we talked a little bit about the prices and inflation. We're going to talk about some of the major events that happened in the world. So I hope that you enjoy this. So um, some events that happened in Israel was um, Yitzhak Rabin came to power in Israel, promising to pursue peace talks, PLO. Um, in Somalia, the civil war um, led to some conflicts between the U.S. and, you know, the U.S. and the United Nations intervention kind of helped in the famine and the civil war in Somalia um, to kind of help restore hope and um, so Somalia was involved in various conflicts throughout the 1970s and 1980s um, leading to the outbreak of a civil war under dictator Muhammad Sayyad Bar. So in 1991, Bar was overthrown and fled the country. So the United States had tried to bring food aid to the country starting in April of 1992. Um, and that was in Operation Provide Comfort. But the deliveries were being impeded by the fighting. So President George H. W. Bush authorized Operation Restore Hope which brought American forces to Somalia to help with the famine relief and strengthen the United Nations, United Task Force efforts. So beginning on December 9th, 1992, about 25,000 U.S. forces were sent to Somalia as a part of an effort to restore peace to the region. When President Bill Clinton took office, he reduced the number of troops in Somalia. So by June of 1993, only about 1,200 forces remained. The operation was also officially turned over to the United Nations in May of 1993. So on October 3rd, 1993, the battle erupted between the U.S. forces and Somalia, um, kind of resulting in the death of hundreds of Somalia citizens um, and 18 Americans. So after the costly battle, President Clinton ordered the United States troops to be removed from combat and by March of 1994, all of the United
United States forces had left Somalia. So the United Nations withdrew its remaining task force by March of 1995 without having controlled the situation. Um, the fighting continued in the country since then, with periods of lessened violence, and even throughout the 2000s, Somalia made attempts of forming a central government, but the fighting between the central government, clans, and, you know, organizations continued to keep the country pretty unstable. Um, so Ethiopia and the African Union tried to intervene um, with the peacemaking missions. In the early 2010s, uh, Fameen struck the country again and it's estimated to take over a quarter million of the people, so Kenya tries to intervene um, in the country, uh, and then the United States began more operations against the rebels as well. So in 2012, Somalia held its first election to actually take place in the country since 1967. Um, so that's just a little bit about um, Somalia and their civil war. So now we're going to kind of talk a little bit about some things that happened in the United States. Um, so the NAFTA was signed. U.S. President George H.W. Bush signed the North American Free Trade Agreement, the NAFTA, on December 17th. It was also signed by Canadian Prime Minister Brian Mulroney and Mexican President Carlos Salinas de Gortaria on the same day. The agreement, also known as the NAFTA, eliminated most trade restrictions and tariffs on trade between the three signatory nations. It was later signed into law by incoming President Bill Clinton, who also supported the agreement in 1993, and it became effective in 1994. So the agreement was signed um, in the close to the end of George H.W. Bush's end of his administration, and they wanted to make sure the incoming Clinton administration would not be able to make drastic changes to the deal they had worked to secure. Um, another big event that happened in the United States was Hurricane Andrew. So it was formed um, on August 15th near Cape Verde. It began moving west towards Miami. It hit the Bahamas on August 22nd as a Category 4 storm, but quickly gained strength and moved towards Florida. The storm began hitting southern Florida on August 23rd, causing massive amounts of damage as a Category 5 hurricane. Hurricane Andrew had sustained winds around 155 miles per hour and gusts over 200 miles per hour. Estimates of the damage that it caused ranged between 27 and 35 billion dollars, and it was the costliest hurricane in U.S. history at that point in time. So the storm destroyed tens of thousands of homes and caused between 20 to 60 deaths. By August 26th, um, it was downgraded to a tropical storm and it dissipated in the application mountains um, by August 28th. Another event that happened in the U.S. was Ross Perot announced that he will run as an independent in the upcoming presidential, presidential race against Bill Clinton and President Bush um, in Bosnia. Um, there was a three-year war so Bosnia declared independence um, after the three-year war between um, Serbia and Croatia is prompting the UN intervention. Um, the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development happened in Brazil. The European Union signed the Maastricht Treaty, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, on February 7th, which founded the European Union. In Turkey, an earthquake registering 6.8 on the Richter scale killed over 500 people. In Mexico, gas that leaked into a sewer exploded in Guadalajara, Mexico, 
on April 22nd, and it killed 215 people and injured around 1,500 people. Um, another really important event in 1982 was the Space Shuttle Endeavor. So, it was the maiden voyage of the Space Shuttle. Um, when the spacecraft was successfully launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, um, the mission, also referred to as STS-49, carried seven astronauts on board who were tasked with recovering and repairing the Intelsat V-6 satellite. The STS-49 set several records during the mission, including the first time three astronauts conducted a, a simultaneously spacewalk. The flight lasted nearly nine days before it returned to Earth safely, during which the mission's goals were accomplished. Um, in Denmark, the European Union um, referendum, so the Danish people vote against signing the Maastricht Treaty on June 2nd. It was a close vote with about 50.7% of voters in Denmark rejecting the treaty and 49.3% supporting it and uh, around an 83.1% voter turnout. So this treaty aimed to integrate Europe and create the legal framework for the establishment of the European Union. After the referendum failed, Denmark began negotiating with the EU members and was granted the granted four exceptions to the treaty and what was called the Eidenberg Agreement. The next year, Denmark held a new referendum and passed with 56.7% approval and an 86.5% voter turnout. Another big thing that happened was um, with John Gotti um, in the United States. So that was the mafia boss, John Gotti. Um, he was sentenced to life in prison after being found guilty of a conspiracy to uh, murder and keep racketeering. So the mob boss, John Gotti, known for his you know, flamboyant style and large personality, was found guilty of murder and other crimes on April 2nd, 1992. Gotti had been known as the Telephone Don after being acquitted in three tri trials during the 1980s, but the FBI was able to make the charges stick after a high-ranking member of his crime family agreed to cooperate with the authorities. Gotti was later sentenced to life in prison on June 23rd that year. He died in prison at the age of 61 after being diagnosed with throat cancer in 2002. Another big event that happened was the Great Chicago Flood, so the Chicago Loop Flooding. Um, so following the installation of, you know, new pilings to the Kenzie Street Bridge, which ruptured a tunnel, which was part of the defunct Chicago Tunnel Company, tunnels under the Chicago Loop. So over a period of time, the mud from the river pushed through and eventually, on April 13th, the river poured into the tunnel and filled the other connecting tunnels under the Chicago Loop, which led to flooding of basements of many Loop office buildings, retail stores, and underground shopping district. So electrical power was shut off, natural gas was shut off, and as a precaution in much of the area, the financial district closed down, um, so only later did it come out that the city had been warned by a telecommunication worker while inspecting a cable who had never seen and videoed the mud in the tunnels. The city had decided it was probably not a priority and had put, had put, begun a bidding process for the repairing of the tunnels. It took three days to repair and clear the flooding enough to allow business to resume in the city of Chicago. And it cost the city around an estimated $1.95 billion to repair. 
Another big thing that happened um, in 1992 was the Cartoon Network in the United States. Um, so it was established and, you know, it came out in October, so it was just created um, an aim full of kids and, you know, lighthearted shows. Um, so the Cartoon Network was from 1992 to 2001, and the first round of programming that was aired on the network consisted of Old Warner Bros. MGM and Hanna Barbera cartoons and the very first cartoon to air was a Looney Tunes show short clip from the 1940s called The Great Piggy Bank Robbery. Eventually they expanded it into more original series with the limited The Moxie Show, Space Ghost, Space Ghost to Coast in 1984, um, Ed, Ed and Eddie, the Powerpuff Girls, so shows like that were expanded. Um, another big thing in the United States was the Mall of America. So the largest shopping mall in the United States, um, the Mall of America, opened its doors to shoppers during August in 1992. The mall originally covered over 78 acres and has since now been expanded um, to 96 acres and it's located in Minnesota so the Mall of America is in Minnesota um, just south of, Min of Minneapolis and it was built on the former site of the Metropolitan Station Stadium and there's over 500 stores in the mall which employs over 11,000 people and it receives over 40 million visitors annually, um, making it one of the largest tourist attractions in the Midwest. In the United States, um, the TWA declared bankruptcy. In China, McDonald's opens its first McDonald's in Beijing. Um, in France, Euro Disney opens in France. Um, and the French truck drivers protest new driving laws and disrupt the French road system with more than 500 blockades across France. Um, also in the United States, Bill Clinton becomes U.S. President. Um, in the United Kingdom, there was rioting by local youth um, breaking out across cities including Bristol. In Russia, privatization in Russia of state-owned businesses to the population um, was a major success. Um, in the United States, the United States refused to sign the UN Convention on Climate Change and Biological Diversity in Rio de Janeiro. And also the 27th Amendment in to the U.S. Constitution is um, or was ratified on May 19th. So the FDA urges, you know, stopping the use of silicone implants. Um, there's a no-fly zone in place over so southern Iraq, authorized under the United Nations resolution. Um, in Iraq, the Follies Bird Music Hall um, in Paris, France closes. Not in Iraq and France, sorry. <laughs> um, in the United States, Abortion rights activists march and demonstrate in the Washington, D.C. Um, rioting broke out in Los Angeles following you know, the acquittal of four white police officers accused of beating black motorist Rodney King. Um, in the United Kingdom, the uh, fire damages, a fire damages a major part of Windsor Castle and a number of important works of art books and furniture were lost and then you know following the public outcry over royals you know the royal spending um the queen of england you know had to start paying income tax and you know, royals were receiving taxpayer money that amount decreased so the queen started paying and that amount decreased in Spain, the Summer Olympics were held in Barcelona. In Afghanistan, um, 
there was an overthrow of the communist government in the United States. Mike Tyson um, was convicted. In the United States, also the two strongest earthquakes ever hit California um, in the desert area east of Los Angeles. And also some more facts about the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom government closed 31 out of 50 of Britain's deep coal mines. And Prince Charles and Princess Diana separate. Germany violence flares in Germany against immigrants, blaming them for economic problems. In the US, Georgia Superdome in Atlanta. Georgia's completed with the world's largest cables supported fabric roof. Um, the North American Free Trade Agreement between USA, Canada, and Mexico is signed. In Libya, the UN Security Council imposes sanctions on Libya. In France, the Winter Olympic Games are held in Albertville, France. In South Africa, so South Africans vote for political reforms to end um, and create a power-sharing multiracial government. Some of the new technology that happened in 1992, uh, Windows 3.1 was released by Microsoft, um, and Microsoft Works released Microsoft. AT&T released a video telephone for $1,499. The first uh, nicotine patch was introduced to help stop smoking. Space Shuttle Endeavor successful um, maiden voyage. And then um, another cool invention was DNA fingerprinting. And then, um, so now we're going to talk a little bit about popular culture in 1992. So some of it kind of rolled over from 1991 and 1990. Um, but the British magazine Punch publishes its final issue after 150 years due to the falling sales and subscriptions. A telephone conversation was recorded between an unknown woman um, talking to an unknown man about her unhappy marriage. So they believe that that was Diana, the Princess of Wales. Some popular films in 1982 were Aladdin, Home Alone 2, Last in New York, Batman Returns, Lethal Weapon 3, A Few Good Men, Sister Act, The Bodyguard, Wayne's World, Basic Instinct, Unforgiven, Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, Reservoir Dogs, and some of the popular um, television shows. So, included Law and Order, America's Funniest Home Videos, One Foot in the Grave, The Crystal Maze, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Home Improvement, Rugrats, The Jerry Springer Show, The Ren and Stimpy Show, L.A. Law, Matlock, The Oprah Winfrey Show, Comic Relief, Casualty, Inspector Morse, Married with Children, and Star Trek The Next Generation. Some popular mus musicians were Pearl Jam, Color Me Bad with All for Love, Toad the Wet Sprocket, Vanessa Paradise, Nirvana, Peter Gabriel, Primal Scream, R.E.M., Boys Two Men, with End of the Road, End of the Road, Madonna with This Used to Be My Playground, U2, The Cure, Kiss, Genesis, Mariah Carey, House of Pain, Bon Jovi, Eric Clapton, Def Leppard, Maniac Street Preachers, Metallica, and Michael Jackson. So that was just some of the popular artists and songs. Um, but that is.
is all that I have to share for 1982. If you have any other interesting facts, um, feel free to share them. I hope you found this video relaxing and informative. Have a wonderful night!